Hello everyone, welcome back to Mother 3, episode 24. In this episode, we're gonna follow Salsa's girlfriend. I forgot her name. Let's see, there she is. Looks like we got another monkey dance to do. There's a door here. Dancing figures are depicted on it. Alright Salsa, does that ring a bell? Oh, we're playing a Salsa now, nice. Okay. I see, is that the right one? Oh, I did do the right one. I was scared I wouldn't. I always get it mixed up. I like how everyone's just watching. They're like, okay, yeah, monkey's dancing. All right. Cool. Alright, this place is kind of cool. I like the music here. We got some... Was that magic gloves? Oh, we can give those a Kumatora once we get her. Must be a sign that we're near her. Sorry, I just want to explore this area a little bit more. Music is so good here. Definitely one of my favorite pieces of music in this game. It just sounds so cool. Okay. Let's head in here. Looks like I'm a gypsy's house. Whoa, awesome. You really did show up, Lucas. Oh, you're here too, Salsa? It's great to see you again. I didn't know you were alive. Oh, now have you been, love monkey? Hello. Salsa's girlfriend's a little scared. Oh my, what adorable visitors. Introduce me to them, won't you? Yeah, sure. These are my friends. This is Salsa the monkey and his love monkey. This is Lucas the human. And this dog is... Skumator never introduced a bony. Bony the dog. See your sweet little Lucas? Ione has told me all about you. Come with me. I'll show you where the needle is. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Lucas. That's Doria, one of the seven Magypsies. He saved me. Apparently that's what fate had in store. Okay, let's go check this place out. I only told me you'd come here. The needle I'm guarding is at the bottom of this pond. My needle is much more of a pain to pull out. It's hard to believe you really have the power to pull the needles. Before you even try, we need to move the water from this pond into that empty hole first. You know that Chimera lab to the west of here? There might be some junk there that could help us move the pond water. Why not look for something there? Okay, so let's go ahead over there. Actually, I want to fight some of these enemies. They look interesting. Okay, we got an Einswine and a Dogfish. These guys look fun. Probably shouldn't be taking salsa in the battles. That was a pretty good combo. And now I can't combo because he has shield. He can thunder beta. Wow. Wow, that's brutal. Okay, well Einstein's gone. Dogfish knows PK Freeze. Oh, this thing's a lot stronger than I thought.
Or PK freeze. Oh, Lucas is dead. Okay, we got out of there alive. Barely, though. We got Salsa level up, though. That's kind of cool. Even though we don't really need to level him up, it's kind of cool to see. It's interesting how the Einswines don't chase after you, like most enemies. Alert! Lucas is low on strength. Be careful. Oh boy, we're gonna have to... I'm gonna go visit the hot spring, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back from my trip to the hot spring, and on my way back, I noticed that the pig masks here that were once friendly to us are all hostile. Probably because we don't have our, our masks on anymore. And I also found a new enemy that I'd never seen. Sentry Robot. It's sort of like the recon mech from Chapter 3. And I think it's also in 2, but it's like a buffed up version, which is kind of cool. But yeah, let's talk to Dr. Ananuts here. He seems to have something to tell us. Oh, lad, I thank you for earlier. What's that? You're looking for a way to transfer all the water from one pond to another? Hmm. Those eyes of yours, lad. They're the eyes of someone who's taken on some sort of mission. Very well. I'll lend you a helping hand. Achoo! I don't know why he sneezed. Behold. I've brought several of the chimeras I've been developing in secret. Take whichever one you think will be most useful to us. Alright, let's see what this guy is. That's a dry guy. It's the latest model dryer chimera, and it util utilizes an air intake system and a jet engine. You can dry anything in mere moments, even long hair, afros, panties, and even Asian beauties. Are you certain this is what you want? You'd think you'd want that one, but it's actually the other one that's more useful. Ah, that one, huh? That's a rather ho-hum chimera known as Pump Chimera. It is an extraordinarily ordinary creature that's really only useful when you need to transfer something from one place to another, such as pond water. If you're certain you want something as uninteresting as this, of course, that is exactly the reason why I was here. I tried using the dry guy last time and he just blew he just blew with the water and do anything. Oh, yes, here we are. This will solve our pond water dilemma. I just know it. Looks like it's working pretty well. Oh, look at him suck up all the water. Ooh, the pond is slowly emptying. More, do more. Now he's filling that water up. Ooh, look, look. Just look at him go. It's enough to give me chills. Doria seems pretty excited. Ooh, just look at him swagger away so confidently. He leaves the stage with such a calm air about him. A natural if I ever saw one. What a Casanova. Bravo, Mr. Pump. There it is. That's the needle. One of the seven needles sealing the dragon away. Let's go pull it. Got Lucas all on his own. He has an important job. I think this is the first one that Lucas has pulled. Can you really pull this needle like Ionia said? I'm not sure if I should be afraid or happy. A rush of emotions is overcoming me. Can't believe I'm here witnessing this moment. And another thump. Okay, now pull it. With all your might. Right before my very eyes. If this needle gets pulled, will you disappear like Aeolia did? Yes, that's right. Because the needle won't need my protection anymore, the needle can only be pulled when the time comes. So when the needle finally is pulled, the time has come. We Gypsies have lived our lives so that we can happily accept the fate when it comes. So don't worry, I'm not gonna die. I'm, sim I'm simply gonna follow suit, or... I don't know why I said follow suit. Follow fate and disappear. So it will be a happy thing. I do have many fond memories though, so it'll be a little sad too. Yes. I wonder what happens if you say no.
think we created some sort of geyser or something. Looks like the geysers from the Lost Ember World and Roofbound. Oh, there goes Doria. PK Love Beta, nice. The long awaited upgrade, the PK Love Alpha. This really is the beginning of the end. The time has finally come. I never imagined someone would show up at this tender girl's home to pull the needle. Wait, didn't Kumatora just say he, though? I'm confused. Oh, whatever. Disappearing while still young and beautiful. In one sense, it's bliss. Kumatora, go with little Lucas here and see things through to the end. I'm about to dis disappear youthfully and beautifully. Think about me sometimes, okay? Here, take this memento of me. We got Doria's memento now. Hopefully we don't end up wasting this one. I leave the rest in your hands now. Bye now. La la la. Ionia told me this lo a long time ago. When the dark dragon that's sleeping under this island wakes up, all life and all time will be reborn. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to see things through to the end. Lucas, can I come along with you? I want to go with you. We have to hurry and find Duster and the Egg of Light, too. Alright, Kumatora's back. Now that she's back in the party, I can finally take off that rubber cape that she's been wearing this whole time. So we have no need for that anymore. Salsa, we just met again after all this time, but looks like this is goodbye again. What's that look? You're such a sentimental monkey. Let's go! Let's get to that next needle. You and Love Monkey, take care now. Aw, that's sweet. Huh? What is it? A nut? For me? I am not gonna eat that nut. Thanks. See you later, if you ever get the chance. Good old Salsa. Well, now him and Love Monkey are all together now, so that's good. Alright, let's take off that rubber cape. Equip. Oh yeah, we also gotta put on the magic gloves too. Oh, Lucas has those. There we go, that's a huge upgrade. That's gonna help a whole lot. And then we'll get rid of those old gloves. Okay, let's get going. On to the next adventure. Who's this idiot? Squeak, squeak! Whoa, 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 hold it right there. Just where do you think you're going? All right, we got sort of a mini boss here. It's fast. Not very strong, though. That was easy. We taught him a lesson. I like how it said that. That's funny. I humbly apologize for my rude, egotistical attitude, despite being so weak. Back on the highway, I was known as the hippest cat around, but now I'm just a pathetic excuse of a mouse. All the girls dug me, but I'm definitely no fighter. But you help me remember who I really am. I wonder if my wife and seven kids I left on the highway are doing okay. Whoa, I'm suddenly feeling homesick now. I'm going back. Yeah, I'm going back. Anyway, dude, I'm heading back home now. Watch out for them mole crickets if you keep going east. Again, so sorry. Well, that was a quick change of attitude, wasn't it? Hey, it's the mole cricket. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So if you kept true to your promise and finally came to the mole cricket, huh? 
It's me, it's me. Don't you recognize me? I'm the mole cricket you fought at Alex's place. When you're play fighting with the dragos as a little kid. I've been training for this day all these years. Okay, let's go. The time the battle has come. Follow me. Oh boy, are we fighting the mole cricket again? Wait, I thought this mole cricket died. Didn't he know I'd kill it? Or something? Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Here it is. This is where you and me are going to fight it out. This is where my right hand will be raised into the air when I'm declared the winner. And this is also when you're going to hit the ground with a thud. This is the place. Mole Cricket Hole. I'll widen the hole a bit for you to be able to hit, fit through. Come on. Okay. He's probably taking us somewhere useful. So let's follow him. What's this? This thing that looks like a lotus root is blocking the path. Well, I guess we can't go there. Actually, let's try ramming into it. Hmm. Let's talk to this one. We're mole crickets. We dig holes and live in them. We're exceptionally proud. Alright. Oh, there we go. This looks like an important place. Mumble, mumble. Okay, we triggered a cutscene. That means we're doing something right. Oh, glad to see you didn't wimp out on me. This here is our elder. I've asked him to be the judge for our match today. If you try to run away or do anything cheap, n neither of us are sit by quietly, just so you know. Anyways, I've got special rules for our match. If by some chance an outcome isn't reached after 10 minutes have passed, we'll go overtime, which will last 5 more minutes. And if a conclusion still isn't reached after that, our elder will decide who the winner is. Elder, is there anything you'd like to add? Wait, you folks are truly, seriously going to fight him? Take my advice. Sometimes the bravest thing to do is run away. But you insist on it? In that case, I won't stop you. You ready to do this thing? Yeah, let's go. Alright, I guess you have no care for your own life. The bell was wrong. Here we go, hardest boss in the game. Ooh, he's fast. One hit. <laughs> a lot of buildup for something that was over in half a second. That's enough. That's enough. We give up. To think that such a mighty mole cricket warrior could be so easily defeated. Perhaps mole crickets aren't so powerful after all. I'll meditate on what else this means at a later time. But for now, the match is over. I suppose the traditional thing to do now is be on good terms with you. So let's be friends. Is there anything you need? Actually, yeah. Do you know where the, the needles sealing away the Dark Dragon are? We're looking for them. We mole crickets aren't very knowledgeable creatures, but call it a hunch, I think there could be a clue to these mysterious objects on the mountain at, uh, on the far end of this mole cricket hole. I figure that's what the Elder wants to say too. He's hard to read sometimes. Yes, I agree. The mountain. Go through this mole cricket hole and head up to the mountain. I'm certain that's what you must do. The mountain, huh? We don't have any other leads to follow up on, so let's check it out. Oh, hey. You guys don't know anything about the Dark Dragon itself, do you? Sadly, we don't. We really are just mole crickets. Even though he's our elder, he's still just a mole cricket, too. We have no real strength at all. It's a pity. The very least we can do is help you by eating the lotus roots, blocking your way, and other things like that. Wow. Dragon? But it's really incredible. Must be incredible indeed. I've learned so much today. A dragon that sleeps underground. Needles that seal it away. Us being surprisingly weak. Living a long life is worth it. Do you suppose you could tell us mole crickets about even more things? I guess so. Thanks. We'll try not to be too much of a bother. So please raise us to be great. To start off, I'm thinking of starting a business in our own unique mole cricket way. Please stop by if you ever happen to see us. Oh yeah, if you're going to go through this mole cricket hole, you should take my little bro with you. He's little, but he's a tough one. You can treat him just like any other item. Hey, little bro, come here. Oh, there he is. Receive the mole cricket, brother. 
you get lost in this mole cricket hole, just ask my little bro for help, and he'll bring you straight back here. All right, little bro? Come on, bro. Get your act together. The bad news is he's kind of lame and hates the sunlight more than anything else in the world. So be careful. You can't take him with you outside the mole cricket hole. Right, little bro? All right, finally. That was a lot of talking, wasn't it? In a similar fashion to the dungeon attic, I ended up walking around in circles for a while, accomplishing nothing, so I ended up cutting out a lot of that. I ended up going back to the beginning of the Mole Cricket Dungeon too, so you didn't miss anything important. Let's try, let's try talking to these guys. Here, I'll give you this unbelievably accurate and unhelpful map. Okay, so this seems to be the place to go, huh? This Mole Cricket hole is really big, you know? You're gonna get bored fast if you don't do pointless chit-chat with us. Save your game? Oh, it's a mole cricket frog. Yeah, sure, we'll save. Okay, maybe this guy will tell us her head. Mole crickets know everything. Just about everything ever. Like how to dig holes and how to win fights. Okay, so he didn't tell us anything useful. At least we got a map, though. Oh, wow. That's impressive. This is... Jeez. Okay, so we gotta go up there. Why is this hole so big? How? Oh, man. Okay. Well, guess we better hunker down and do it. This is gonna be so tiring. What happens if I go down here? Oh, we're actually further along. I thought I remembered hearing somewhere that every turn you can make, uh, if you if you take every possible turn as early as possible, then you'll make it there. I don't remember who said that, but I remember someone saying it last time. Let's see if that works. Hmm. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way. Over there now. Make that turn first. That one, and then you make it here. I think we're getting closer. I can't really tell, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we just seem to be going around in circles. I still can't believe they actually have this entire maze in this game. This is so much bigger than I remember. Okay, yeah, we're definitely getting closer. Now we're there. Okay, we're, we're making our way there. Oh, that just loops around, okay. Really wish I could run. Oh, I think we made it out. Or, yeah, we're almost there. Okay, almost out of this crazy hole. Yeah, we're making our way out. Ah, oh, yes, the light. It's so refreshing to hear the snowman theme after all that. Well, guess this is where we part ways. I don't have a name, but remember me sometimes being a pretty cool guy, okay? All right, we're here. Nice, this place is so beautiful. I've always loved snowy areas in video games. Whoa. That was surprising. I wanted the end of the episode soon, but I don't see a frog. It's a fun looking enemy though. There's a lot of damage. 
probably be using PK Fire against that. I think. Wait, what level is Kumator? I need to check that real quick. 27. Okay, not too far behind. That's good. And we got some chili dogs. Alright, let's... I think PK Fire. Yeah, that attacks everyone, so we'll be good. Dog versus dog. Okay, it's the easier version of the song. Oh, I did a ton of damage. We need to heal Lucas. Ton of XP from that. Definitely worth it. Double jerky. Like beef jerky, but better. I don't know if I want to use that though. I'm going to use my PSI. Definitely want to save that jerky for later. Let's give that the bony. Oops. Yeah, I was expecting that. Let's see how PK Fire does against this one. I like the background. Looks kind of cool. There we go. Not too hard. Probably choose PK Fire on everything here. Oh, there's a ton of guys. Okay. You know, I, don't, I really don't want to do this for too long, so we'll just use PSI all out. That's a ton of damage. Chili Dog's down. And we'll just bash him. This guy is so tanky. Okay, Kumatora finally leveled up. Nice. We got a Luxury Banana. Oh, there's another present. present. Okay. Cancer Bracelet. Who gets the Cancer Bracelet? Who needs it more? Okay, we'll actually give that to Lucas. I didn't realize Kumatora's defense was so high. Oh, well, Luke, Lucas already has it. I should have just stayed in the equip menu. We'll get rid of that old one. Actually, yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay, hopefully we find a frog soon, because this episode's getting a bit long. Okay, we're done with that battle now. Got a bunch of yetis again. Oh, there's item guy. I thought it was a... There's a frog, finally. I find it a little odd that they put the frog all the way up here and not the beginning of the level. But we found him anyway, so that's great. Yeah, I'd like to wrap up the episode here. We'll finish up the, the snowy area in the next episode. We got a pretty tough boss to cap it off, which hopefully doesn't take me too long. I was actually originally going to do it in this episode, but I didn't realize that all the other stuff would take so long. Yeah, that is, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See ya.